Hi guys, welcome to this video and I, I will finally explain how to simulate an active active AC to DC converter. So let, let me open paint first and let's explain a brief of theory because you will need that. So you have in the most basic form, you will have an AC voltage and in the, the most basic form, you will just have a passive Graltz. You already, you already know that, no? So just a bit of reminder. This is a, a, passive, rectif uh, a passive rectifier. And how does it work? So basically the, the positive waveform will uh, follow this path here and the negative waveform will follow the, the other path around by the two, di by the two remaining diodes and so here we'll have, you, you will have some, something of the sort because uh, the capacitor will start to charge and since this, this capacitor will be quite high like 100 microfarad or even 1 millifarad, it won't have time to discharge and so you will have uh, at the input something like this, sorry at the input you will have something like this and then the rectification will be something like this. So if you want to make this an active with the MOSFET, you have, to, uh, you have to consider that the MOSFET doesn't switch like in any DC-DC converter, but they have, to, they have to be active when the voltage is positive or negative. So the, control sch so the schematic will be something like this. You have your AC source and you have your, your, uh, your switches, which will be basically the MOSFET. Let me draw uh, the gate, the gate. Here is the switch, another switch connected here, and this last one connected there. So how does they work? How these, how these switches here, how do they work? Basically, they have to follow the same path as before, so they have to be active whenever the voltage is positive or negative. So here you will, you will have basically a controller which will read the control voltage, which will read the, the voltage here, and it will drive the MOSFET as follows. So you, you will have also uh, the driver, which I will just draw a, like an amplification, and then you will have the, the positive positive action, so this uh, signal here will go here and here and the other will go to the other side. So this is uh, just a brief explanation, now let's do, the, let's do it in LT Spice. So f first, oh, what is this? <laughs> so first uh, put, just put an AC source, we will use uh, a random sign, I don't care. In, a, in, in the CDC converter you can have a, a frequent, um, an amplitude of 100 volts, for instance, and a, and a frequency of 100 kilohertz. So this can be reasonable enough. And you're probably going to have this in a after transformer. So let's put a, a series resistor of 1 milliohm and let's put a transformer, a couple transformer with uh, um, K, L1, L2, 1 Yeah, let's put even 200 volts 300, 300 volts Yeah It is just uh, By the way, it is just an example So now let's put uh, 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 Yeah, why not? Let's start with the passive Let's start with the passive rectifier And let's see if it does work, because uh, you know that uh, there can be always some mistakes uh, in the in the design. 
So I'm doing this very, very fast because this is not the aim of the video. And I want just to verify that this is actually working. So let's put uh, one millifarad and a lot of a lot of one ohm. A lot of one ohm. So let's run the simulation for twenty for uh, five milliseconds. Let's run the simulation for 5 milliseconds and let's see that, uh, okay, so it is rectified as we expected. This is a passive rect rectifier and, uh, of course, we already know how it how does it work. So now let's cancel all of this and let's put an active rectifier instead. So first of all, we will, uh, um, first of all, we will do a behavioral, a, behavioral, a behavioral voltage. So just how we should expect to work without implementing really in a design. So... Let's put uh, an NMOS. I think that the first of the list is, should be okay. And uh, um, let's put this node, let's call this node A. Let's ca call this node B. So let's just see, let, let's, ju let's just say with a B level of voltage that uh, if if the difference between A and B is greater than zero. You active this MOSFET. The MOSFET will be active. So uh, two volts will be enough. Zero otherwise. I know that uh, this is not the correct way, but uh, I'm just uh, verifying that it is going to work. So this will be the first. Actually, uh, this is gonna scale by two volts, so I don't want that. Let's put the this one instead. This will be grounded, and this will be grounded as well. Uh, okay, let's write one. Um, okay, let's do the same for the other. So, now, let's keep in mind always this schematic here. So, you have to put, for each diode, you have to put a MOSFET with all, with all, of, with all of this. So, let's replicate this. Uh, it will become quite, a, quite large in... Let's put this. And let's do the same for the low side. So, now, let's adjust... Uh, properly the control so this is positive let me let me uh, do it a draw so this is the positive let me indicate it positive and so this is right but then this the other is negative so you have to put uh, less than zero Okay, let's connect everything properly. This goes to this. This goes to this. This is connected to this. Let's uh, keep this a little bit higher. Now the B is connected there. This is connected here. And this is connected here. So now let's run the simulation. Let's call this node out and, let, and let's see what happens. Ah, sorry, I want also to see the, the voltage the voltage at the, uh, the output of the transformer. So V, let's put VA B wait like this yeah, let's call this in Okay, let's run the simulation again. Voltage source E2 is on a loop involved in ductal 2. What the f... Ah, uh, sorry. VA minus VB. Hmm. 
Let me check for a moment. Uh, ah, by the way, this is connected to... My god. I connect... Oh... Uh, what I have done... I, I have... Sorry, I have connected... Uh, I, I have accidentally connected... Uh, uh, in oh, what I've done! No, 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 no. So the plus is connected here because you have to, you have to control the gate. Oh my, my! Yes, and since I, I, I copied and pasted uh, the error of propagates, of course. Since I copied and pasted everything, the error propagates. Ah, uh, my, my, my God. Maybe I, I, I didn't notice this because uh, I went too fast. Okay. Sorry for that. Now, let me check first the, the difference between V A and B. So it, it should be just a sign. Okay, it is just a sign. But with, uh, it is scaled with respect to the input voltage because uh, I just put a transformer. And the output voltage, okay, is rectified as we expecting, as we are expecting. So 90 volts, uh, and uh, wow, so this is gonna work. So this is, so this actually works. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it works. <laughs> wow, it really works. So now what we want to do is to, um, the, to, anal to analyze this ripple here. It should be double the frequencies with the, the the switching frequency of the of, of this MOSFET. So let me first uh, uh, toggle toggle this. Uh, so skip the transient of two milliseconds. Okay, now we have just the now we have just this, and let's analyze the the ripple component with the FFT. You already know the story. Just double click here, view FFT. Put it in linear, and you will see exactly what is going to happen. We expect the uh, the noise to be in the switching frequency range, double the switching frequency range. So uh, exactly here. Let's zoom again. Again, again. Okay. Yeah, we are. We found it. But we should uh, should have. Uh, we should have. We should have more at two hundred kilo. Oh, okay. So now it is correct. So we have uh, the harmonics, uh, which is uh, caused by the ripple, and also everything uh, at the multiple of these harmonics. So this would be 200 kilohertz, 400 kilohertz, 600 kilohertz, and so on. But this was just the behavior. Um, was just the behavior. Was just the uh, behavioral um, behavioral active rectifier. So I just wrote. Uh, when the voltage is greater than zero, this MOSFET is active. So, but what are you gonna do in reality is to... So what are you gonna do to simulate, for instance, a controller? I will just... Uh, I will just uh, uh, talk briefly here, but... Uh, what you really... what, what uh, you really need is to... Also to put uh, a driver. So if you wanted to do this controller in a more suitable way, you should first put you should first put a, a divider. For instance, uh, one hundred kilo ohms, one mega ohm, and one kilo ohm, ten kilo ohm, and call this A and B. For starter, then you should also design an enable net. So you take this voltage B and you take uh, also a voltage and you take also the uh, a voltage reference and you put it in a, an op amp. You put it in an op-amp. So this will act as a comparator. 
So this will be your control B. At the end of the story, what you will need is a, a sort of enable net. And uh, um, yeah, this will be, this will be basically your your positive enable, your enable A, for instance. So let's put uh, a five ohm volts, five five volts. I I I uh, right, right now I don't. Uh, I don't want to design all the all the thing here, but I think that you have, you have understood the concept. So you have to design a, a proper enable net, and the, then you need a, a driver, and then you you will uh, um, supply properly this uh, this MOSFET here. Maybe I, I will explain it another in another video, but for for now I am quite positive that uh, this is exactly what we were expecting. So a positive rectification. Ah yeah, because now everything has everything has changed. Thank you for this video and uh, see see thank you for your attention guys and see you in the next video.